evening. So now with the medicine and health, again, we had the most fantastic group of candidates, and because they were all such high standard, I would like to mention them all. Dr. Claire Gerarda, Professor Jane Dacre, Dr. Shri Datta, Professor Jenny Hyam, and Dr. Raina Zav Adami. And I'd also like to thank our uh, wonderful judging panel. Unfortunately, Clarissa Faber, who's president of the Medical Women's Federation, was abroad in Canada. So I stepped in on behalf of the Medical Women's Federation. We had a man on our panel, Mohammed al Ubaidli, who is the chief executive of Patients Know Best, who are our sponsors for women in the city. Dr. Jenny Dean from the Cambridge Business School, and Liz Campbell from Wellbeing of Women. And very difficult choice, but our category winner, we felt, was a really superb ambassador for other women, a very dynamic doctor, extremely thoughtful. She'd been so thoughtful about the process and filling in the application form. A very practical doctor, very much in touch with real medical working lives. She's already in an important position, and as such, she's using her position as a leader to create what she described as reasonable change, which is definitely the way forward. And at the same time, she remains completely in touch with the grassroots of medicine. It came across that she really sticks assiduously to her values, and for her, the bottom line is caring for patients. So even in a high leadership role, she hasn't lost touch with this. She told us, and we like this very much, that she relies on a strong network or donut of people. I trust you mean the ring and not the jam. But anyway, <laughs> the donut of people around her, both medical and non-medical, for support. Because what became clear was being a leader in a high position can be quite isolating at times. And we felt that she really understands the reality of working women's lives. She's a mother, she understands about families, and the need for leadership activities to, to happen at reasonable times in the working day, not all in the evening when it's inconvenient and uh, people have to go home. So our winner is Dr. Claire Gerarda.